this will be a blues program. Blues can be sad or happy, mean and evil, or fresh and innocent. The blues form adapts to any human emotion, tells any human tale. Muddy Waters tells stories with his blues. Name of Kelly Morgan Field, nickname Muddy Water. Snowball's famous guitar pick. Muddy Waters was known as the king of Chicago blues, but what he did was to electrify, amplify, and transform the blues from the Delta. Well, I feel in my like I feel today. I'm gonna pack my suitcase and make my gear. But I'm troubled. I came to Chicago. I felt like I was good enough to get on record and, and, and where I was living that, you know, I didn't have a chance. So I figured if I come to Chicago and, and a while people begin to know me, I'd probably get on record, which that's what did happen, you know. Yeah, I know my little old babe. She gonna jump and shout. That was when Muddy left uh, Clarksdale in 1943, but there were thousands and thousands of others who were leaving, and part of that was due to the mechanization of cotton. One cotton picker could do the work of uh, 50 men, so all of a sudden this huge workforce was displaced. And at the same time, Chicago became what was called a promised land to many people. Muddy put in a rhythm section, added a piano and a harmonica, and right there it pivots. The rural sound becomes an urban sound, and it turns on Muddy. Muddy Waters in particular, but a lot of the Delta Bluesmen when they moved up, I mean, they had such an impact on all the population that had moved up there. I believe I met him in Memphis. And I was trying to play, but I wasn't doing so well. But he said, be yourself, do what you do. And if you do that, if people like it, they will. If they don't, they don't like it anyway, he said. If B.B. King is king of the blues, Muddy was emperor. Oh, child. We were playing the blues. It's 99.9, 100% black. Martin Luther King was, was doing his thing. This is when the British group started listening to Muddy and Sun House and all those people and coming in there. Me, yeah. Muddy Waters arrived singing about something to do with having his mojo working. And of course, all British people wanted to know what on earth that was and could they get one? I'm a rolling stone. Yeah, when we first recorded in chess, we were unloading our guitars and somebody behind us said, uh, you, you boys want a hand? We looked around, it was Muddy Waters and we were like, <laughs> in total shock. It was amazing because for the whole Bohemian generation of, of Britain and Europe, there was this window into a culture that we had no idea about. Muddy, that shaking when he's singing Manish Boy and he's doing that, oh, oh yeah, and <laughs> he always did it and it always blew the crowd away. And then some little kid in California or, you know, Elvin Bishop or, or Paul Butterfield or the Rolling Stones get to celebrate and somehow relate to this universal call of this, the power of this music and blow it out into rock and roll. And then to turn around and be able to give Muddy what he deserved, which is worldwide acclaim. Oh, yeah, yeah. 